Hello, everybody. Uh, I think today's going to be a pretty fun build. It's um, a build that everyone's kind of been asking for for a while, the Z75. Aesthetic, thank you so much for the Prime, dude. Hello, everybody. Thanks for the baby, Hi. BB. <laughs> Thanks for the baby, BB. What's going on, Aesthetic? Uh, and thank you so much for being here for nine months and all that support, man. That, that's huge. And Schmexy, thank you so much for six months of support. But how are you guys all doing today? Today we're gonna to be building the Wind Alex Z75. Opera. You know what? Um, I didn't really look into the Z75 as much as I should, like prior to receiving the board. And I gotta admit, like, let me go back to pull it up here. It's actually kind of cool. Like it, it definitely is a different aesthetic from the rest of the wind boards, which is kind of nice. Um, so definitely appreciate that. Dude, Alex, just, just thank you so much, dude. Stream ping in Vegas for my homie's bachelor party. Hey, that's huge, man. Uh, that's huge, dude. I hope you have fun. Stay safe too. Um, Alex, I gotta ask. I've been hearing a lot about this setup tour for months now. Oh God, I feel so called out. I'm so Hello, sorry, Alex. Alex. Young, thank you so much, man, for the six months, dude. Big smooches to you too, bu bu uh, buddy. So did I miss it? Okay, I posted a suit like a small pseudo tour with random Frank P. So it's on his channel, and then I have a small like literal 15 second clip of it on um, my TikTok. But it's on random Frank P's channel. One of those things there. I'm gonna eventually do a better one. To be honest, guys, like to be honest with you and to be honest with myself, I, I don't love the way my setup looks like 110%. I think my desk and the way that my flow for work is great, but like I, I am still in a small room, right? Like I'm not in like some gigantic room, so I'm not 100% happy with it. And I don't want to post something just for the sake of posting it. And then like, I don't know when I'm super happy with it, I think I'll fully commit to the idea of it, but I did post something small to, to Raymond Frank Peace channel. Uh, two questions. Do you prefer wind keyless or uh, wind key for TKLs? Okay, so lately, this is very situational. Lately, I've been preferring wind key because I'm on a Mac and it just works better. On a Windows computer, I still have yet to even try to use the Windows keys. I mean, actually, I dabbled in it. I didn't like it, but I just prefer the wind keyless for the Windows computer. So uh, are you going to try other plates like PP plate for the transition today? Um, let me see if we have time. I didn't actually plan to do much with the transition today. Um, uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to see if we can, if not, I have lots of time this week coming up. Well, not lots of time, but I have an extra day this week that I'll probably plan for that too. But let me see just cause I didn't, a lot came up this week. I'm, um, like I, I think I was telling you guys the other day, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Like I didn't, uh, I didn't truly get as much stuff done this week. Like I have a list of things I want to get done and I got like, I'd say I got like 80% of it done, but man, I really, really want to get a hundred percent of it done. I couldn't do it. I'm so sad. Um, so pretty sad, man. Pretty, pretty sad about that. Also, why is my blinds like this? Hold on. Oh, it's getting caught on something. Uh, completely understand. I'm dying to see how you do your lighting with the gels and spotlights. I love the way you make it look like it's middle of the morning. Oh yeah, dude. Okay. Number one thing you got to understand about that is like, creating a lot of like atmosphere light. Uh, so not only having like a light that lights up the entire room, but having like small subtle signs to your viewers that there's light coming in from outside. So stuff like this in the background, it makes it look like daytime. Um, also creating like little hot spots in the room too for light. Like if I really wanted to, I could even put little more, I guess little spots, which is brighter, kind of makes it look like sun's peeking in. Uh, watch all the uh, all the time on YouTube. First time in a stream. Will, I hope you enjoy the stream, dude. Today's stream is going to be an interesting keyboard for sure. But yeah, that's pretty much it though, guys. My, my week's been so busy. So, so busy. Uh, Alex, I need your key aesthetic wisdom on the Jairus 65 on GB, black with gold weight. I need to build one of those new Jairuses still. 
Um, I, uh, if you're gonna go with uh, black with gold weight, keycap set wise, I would go very simple. Um, actually, I have been not liking mixing colors with black like keyboards, so I've been just sticking with black and black. That's kind of been my like, my go to. But GMK Civ, I think someone mentioned that that could also be a great like little transition thing. Um, but that that'd be my my thing there. I get my man cave in like three weeks. Oh, dude, dude, I really. My dream is to get a bigger spot. Like I've always wanted a bigger space to do work in. As with anything though, bigger spaces, stuff like this, they all cost a lot of money. Like it's expensive. Dude, Diablo 4 is fun for sure. Like I'm I'm still like I'm a little I'm a little miffed. Is that the right word? I'm a little sad. Um can I tell you guys a story? <laughs> So, decided that, man, yesterday around 10 o'clock, like it was nighttime, like did all I had to do during the day. I'm like, I'm going to play some game. I'm going to play some Diablo. I've been level 50 for like the last two or three days. I have, I've played like enough to get me to like level 54. And I've just been grinding dungeons. I invite my friend. He just, he just hit level 50. First dungeon we play. He gets a unique. <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, I'm struggling to even get upgrades for the legendaries. And then I finally, after a night, like it was like 4 a.m. in the morning, we stayed up late playing. I finally get a unique. It's like the most generic boot in the world for sorcerers that just increases your movement speed. Like I'm going to need that. And I just felt like it was such a slap in the face. I'm like, oh my God, man. Like, I hate this game. But I can definitely see the appeal of chasing that gear. Definitely see the appeal of it. Uh, do you use any extenders or anything for IEMs? I do want to go back to using an extension cable for my IEMs, but I don't use any DAC ramps or anything like that. I'm off of that. I am off of it. Look at my Bakken Echo in the same color theme as the cream and Kaiju. Let's see, dude. Pretty calamity. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. Uh, <clears throat> oh, let this load. It's taking a while. Hey, that looks good, dude. Yeah, cream, uh, cream base colors or like stone base colors are really nice. I am don't need a DAC anyways. Ah, you know what? That's one of those things where I can sit here and tell you guys I don't think amps and or um, I am's need DACs. I can sit here and say that. But gonna be honest, um, people in the audio hobby are very, 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 uh, what's the right word I'm looking for? They're very um, adamant about their small little changes they make to their, their chain of whatever. So yeah, gatekeepers might be a good word for it. But uh, yeah, they're pretty adamant about that. They're very particular. Maybe that's a good word. Very particular about things. Little box on opening of this guy. Uh, can you link me the extender you'd use? I'm kind of browsing around. Oh uh, yeah, I can try and go find it. Probably like way down my Amazon list, but DM me. I'll, uh, I'll look for it when I have it when I have a chance. Some planar stuff do. Planar uses an amp. It's very rare though that I find benefits from a DAC. I don't know what this is. A little unboxing of this. Uh, I love your mode uh, envoy vids. Help me pull the trigger and getting one. I love my mode envoy. I'm using it right now. Love, love, love it. Um, okay, I'm not sure what this is. This looks like feet and some screws. I'll just leave this in the box for now. So yeah, looks like feet and screws. Sorta. Uh, I did DM you. Did you wrong? Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I've been uh, this week. Fuck, man. I've been so bad at responding this week. Oh, baby, you did. Okay. I got you. I'll respond to you immediately. Um, but yeah, this week, dude, like I said, I'm disappointed in myself. Want to do so much more. We got some plate options here. We got, looks like, either this is polycarb or palm. Looks like palm and aluminum. We have foam kits. We have a PCB. Okay, so we have some options in how we're gonna build this, cause 
yeah, this PCB does not have any sort of flex cuts, which if you guys were interested in flex cuts, I'm not too sure if they're offering one with flex cuts, but we do still have to break these off. This is a bit of a, always been a pain point for me. I hate doing this. Not that it's a big deal. Two LEDs over here. I think that's for that little uh, logo on the bottom right. But lots of options. Solderable PCB. Love seeing that. Oh, hiccups. Cool, though. I don't know what we're going to do for what config we want today. Um, it's okay. You just hate me. Oh, my God. Wrong. I love you. Please, dude. Please. Uh, hi, Alex. Would you be down to build a Kibu Harbor? I don't have soldering equipment. Yes, that's a nice board, dude. I would love to do that for you. Please fill in um, a build request. I'll give you like all my rates and stuff. Oh God, how do I pull this out of this now? Office. My beautiful boy. Oh my God. Office. Me? Talking about someone else or are you talking about me, man? Oh my God, thank you so much. How the fuck do I take this out? Bro. Okay, I'm gonna ask Wind Studios to do this. Make a little pull tab or some sort of scoop that I can get my fingers underneath. I don't I don't know what the expectation here is to get this out, but that kind of hurt my fingies. Uh, it's been a month since I've been streaming. I've missed you. MF, what's going on, dude? How, how have things been? But thank you so much, Office. Uh, what plate and foam config would you recommend for an Envoy build with Obscuras? Uh, if you're uh, trying to avoid any sort of resonance, Here's my, I would recommend the config that you guys see me using on the daily. So that would be aluminum plate. Um, you can technically go with like an FR4 plate. I would stick with the F aluminum and then I would not use any foam. Don't crank down the screws over here. There's two screws that you need to kind of screw in. Do like a twist or two and that's it. Call it a day. You'll get a keyboard that ends up sounding like this. with almost zero resonance. And if you like that little bit of a metallic-y sound, you can kind of crank down the screws a little bit more and you'll get more of that resonance, which is a personal preference at the end of the day. Jishi wants a compliment, but you know what my personal preference at the end of the day always is? Jishi, hope you're having a great day today, man. Hope Sunday is happening clean for you, dude. All right, let's take this out of its wrapper here. Hydrate? Should I do coffee or water? I think I'm gonna do coffee. I have a bit more coffee left. Thank you for always being such a positive atmosphere. I've been watching YouTube for a long time, just started turning into streams. Oh, anytime. I appreciate you guys letting, like, letting me be positive here and just like letting me be me. I really appreciate that, guys. Uh, don't long poles give less resonance? I would honestly say not really. It depends on the board. This is actually a kind of cool keyboard. Hold on. Wait. Wait, this is kind of nice. So nice. I love these days where I can do my own thing and watch Alex stream. Django, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the two months of you being here, dude. Wait, this is actually kind of nice. This is, again, I read most of the notes but I never looked at many photos. So this is just as a surprise to me as it, it is to you guys. Hold on, this is actually kind of pretty. All right, the bottom side, pretty basic. Does have a bit of a curve here, but it does look like this. there's a seam here too, so perhaps this disassembles from that area. The back is PVD, but you need to peel off that. That's kind of nice. The side profile is kind of cool. That's not something you see every day. I like that. It's not quite even too, so it kind of goes from like corner to corner for its cut there. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's still kind of cool. It is symmetrical in that sense still. I like the side profile. And this little accent piece at the front, the little reflective accent piece is kind of nice too. All right. I don't, okay. Again, gonna be as objective as possible. This isn't a big deal. I understand this is not a big deal to a lot of people. I don't like ribbon cables. Um, 
I just think they're very like this this kind of stuff's fragile to me and if you aren't an experienced builder and just like you know you're moving things around too quick that could come out so maybe that's a point lost I also prefer when companies use um, non like I I don't like uh, proprietary daughter boards I prefer people using universal ones just in case something happens again not a major point but just something to bring up but actually a really cool looking board this would be part of what glows the LED I'm not sure what their logo exactly means but what's the price point on this again 370 or something Schwinn, thank you so much for the tier one, man. 365. That's yeah, not too bad. And it is palm or alu plate. Cool. All right, let's actually open this guy up. I wanna take this apart and see the inside here. Alex, my sonic is sounding a little bit too sharp for my taste. I use Aqua Vintage Whites and an alu plate with GMK keycaps. Um, plate foam on the bottom between the case and the PCB. Uh, you want a little thing you could do this? Just Unscrew the top mount. Just unscrew it. Let it just sit on the phone. Try that. Super small little thing you could do. What do you guys think of the way this looks? Are you guys into this? I really like how the uh, thought out design. Yeah, I think this is out of all the boards I've seen from Wynn Studios. I will say this is one of the nicest boards I've seen from them so far. Everything else from them has been a little bit generic and it's just been a little bit whatever. Uh, I fucking love the way this board, uh, look at this board. Yeah, it's nice. It's pretty unique. I would say it's unique. The bottom is a little plain. I agree with that ballistic. The bottom is a little simplistic, but um, perhaps that's to cut down some costs somewhere for the other pieces of the design. But I would have liked to see some love go into some stuff on the bottom but I don't mind what this is. Uh, 365 it says on the website. And then I believe if you want hot swap, it's 385, last I checked. Uh, we're doing solder today, yeah, finally. I usually always request solder. Only some cases do I ever request um, hot swap, but I requested solder here. Is it heavy? It has some weight. It's not too crazy though. Uh, totally not rigged GMK opening. Bro, I, I don't actually think I have any more GMK sets to open. Do I have any more? Let me think. I, come on, Alex. We're gonna start the day off with me dropping things. What's up, Skull King? How you doing, man? Skull, your build's coming up soon too, huh? Do I have half plates for this guy? No, just whatever they sent me. I don't think they actually sell half plates with this. Come on, Alex, I know wrong. You know what it is, man. I'm a little nervous to stream today. I don't know why, but I was actually like having to cash my, I don't know why, I just, I tuned in today. A little nervous. The hobby has no place for classic full size anymore. I don't think that's true. I think the hobby does have a place for it. I just think most consumers don't want that. There is a small subset of consumers who do want full. And uh, we can even use like a sample size from here in chat today. Like who would want full size? Does anyone want full size here? As an accountant, I would love full size. Alex, please build this foamless with alu plate. Is that the way, Tay? Is that the way today? Yeah, I think, I think some people, oh, okay, so, oh, wow. So this is a piece here. I see, holy screws. I guess that comes with the aesthetic of the board. And now there's more screws with a different bit underneath this. Okay, so it's gonna be a bit of a experience building this thing. So actually quite a few of you actually want full size. I don't know. I think for a full size keyboard, I think like, I don't have any use for it. Um, and if I did want to use other things, like I'm a, I'm a layers guy, definitely into just putting layers for things. But uh, I, I see the appeal in people wanting things like that. 
Okay, so this is a thicker piece now. This is the top piece here. That's interesting. Cool. Wait, was there gaskets they sent over with this? I feel like I didn't get any gaskets. Ooh, was there other little boxes I was supposed to grab for this? Oh, I think there was. You guys might have to give me a second while I go with the other little boxes. I think there was a small other little box that I put away when I received it, and then I just totally forgot to grab it. All right, let's put these screws here. So what does this look like underneath now? Oh, that's simple. Okay, so it is just, it's like a three piece construction plus a weight. And what's this for? Are these for battery slots? Can you make this wireless? It looks like batteries are supposed to go underneath here. Interesting. Okay, give me one second while I go just quickly locate those other pieces of the box. This is from Win Studios, yeah. One second, I'll double check it's not here. Did I put it here? No. I did not. Right. One moment, everybody. One second, everybody. Be right back. I have to double check one of the other boxes. One sec.
Maybe there wasn't another box for this. Are we missing gaskets then? Oh, are the gaskets in here? <sighs> the gaskets were in here the entire time. <sighs> Dude, when I read foam kick, I was like struggling to figure out if there was another box or something. I think just foam. You know what's longer than 27 months? 28 months. Hello, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Dude, I would have never guessed. Like, I can't even see the foam cuts for this until you do this. Come on, man. I would have never guessed that. Oh my God. Okay, dude, I was like, maybe they put it in a little bag that was like somewhere near it or something. I'm like, maybe there was, because I know Wind Studios ships out separate boxes sometimes. Uh, I very much like the custom keyboard. Me too. Fair, fair, yeah, I would have overlooked that too. Dude, I would have never guessed. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy, hold on, let me just message. Me and my girlfriend are both looking for it. That's okay, relax and enjoy the build. Oh yeah, we are now. Okay, I don't think we got any batteries or anything, so I don't think we have a Bluetooth PCB or anything like that, but now we know that there is adhesive foam strips for this. Yeah, don't love adhesive, but we'll use them. All right, let's start with our stabilizers, shall we? I think we will use aluminum. I think I kind of do want to try alu out. So let's do that. Envoy sounds so good. Envoy is pretty top tier in my opinion. It is a great keyboard for the price and everything. So actually the inside's kind of nice. It's kind of flushed out looking. I kind of appreciate that. All right, stab time. I think I want to use these M1 stabs. I have like a few packs of them lying around. So we'll use these. The Hayes switches are by Key Spencery. I think they're by uh, Athleon. How do you guys feel about the packaging for this stabilizer, by the way? I kind of think this is a bit much. Like this is like a lot of plastic for, yeah, it's overkill. And like, realistically, I don't think I'm ever gonna reuse this box. Come on. Does this have tape? Oh, it does have tape. Yeah, it's a bit overkill. Kind of extra. Also, Zonas, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. I appreciate you, dude. Really, really do. Could have been like paper TX. I think I would have preferred that TBH. Uh, I mean, yeah, maybe, oh. What's this underneath? Oh, I guess it has some extra stuff hiding there. I didn't even know that existed there. Well, damn. Uh, I mean, bent wires could still happen in something like this if the factory didn't make them right, so. It's nice until you have more than two keyboards to build. Yeah. I heard Atheon sometimes over lubes. Okay. My hard opinion, like my my final, no other opinion on Atheon as of right now, is they do have a tendency to not be consistent. Um, and that does happen, I wouldn't say quite often, but often enough for me to not overlook it. Atheon pre-lube switches can be amazing and then you can get the same, I swear to God, like in the same batch, you can have some that are just like, some are doused in lube. So it is kind of a gamble, I feel, with like the Athlion pre-lube switches, but they are, hands down, the best pre-lube switches that I have tried to date. Um, they just feel better. I would say if you want the ultimate in consistency, silk switches, Switches from Wu Che, those are probably going to be your most consistent guys. But past that, it's hard to say what I would say is like the best for pre -lubed. Like the Mode Obscuras, and there's some other brands that like have some decent pre lube, but I still find, like even the cream sodas, I still find myself wanting to go back and like redo those. Um, 
No bent wires, yeah. Would you possibly know a solution for re-threading acrylic boards? Because I have a board that I've assembled so often I can't screw in the plates. So, if it's really badly stripped, like you can't, like the screw's falling out, you could buy yourself little helix um, screw thread inserts or whatever they're called. And then you could put some, basically some thread locker or some glue uh, on the outside and press it in. You might have to make the hole a little bit bigger and kind of fit the acrylic board or fit the polycarbonate board with your own threads. And then you just screw in your screw. So you could do that. That is a possibility. I need, how many more stems here? One more set of stems. Gatoron's new lubing process is really good too. Have I tried any of Gatoron's new lubing process? I don't know if I have or not. Uh, okay, let's do lubricant here. Milky Yellow Pros. Uh, the Vertex V1s were fine. Um, I would probably still go back and redo the springs on the Vertex V1s, but it also just could be the springs that I'm not like too keen on. Cream sodas went through their new lubing process. Oh, so if cream sodas are an example of Gatoron's new lubing process, I think they're good, but I'm not 100% for it. Like I still think I have to always go back and touch up cream sodas. Again, my ideology on uh, lubing switches, and I don't know how you guys feel, but if, if you were to say, hey, Alex, you just spent 500 bucks on a keyboard, 500 US, not even Canadian. You said, Alex, you spent 500 bucks on a keyboard. You spent $40 on switches. You spent $20 on stabs. You spent $80 total on shipping. My first thought personally, this is again, very personal, stressing, is not to grab pre-loop switches. It's to grab switches that I like and will end up lubing and modding to my liking. Now, where I feel like pre-loop switches are a good fit is trying to understand what you like. I think that's fantastic. Understanding what you like, maybe trying out different lubing styles because you can kind of replicate what's inside these things sometimes. And then also, if you're more experienced, I like the switch anyways, pre-loop switches, you can technically just lube on top of it and you need less lube. So they're a good jumping off point for lubing your switches too. However, like I said, my standpoint will always be if you're going to give me, if you're telling me that I spent all this money on a keyboard, I will just make sure the keyboard is done, you know, with my preference in mind. Hand do it all. It's part of the fun too, right? Like, I don't know. I, I think it's part of the fun. I only really lube for sound tuning now, not really for smoothness. I feel like a lot of people kind of end up there too. Me looking at my dolus with stock KTT strawberries. Do you do you guys use and like stock switches? Cause it's okay if you do, right? Like no one's judging you. Absolutely no one's judging you at all. Alex, try to mix dielectric grease with water. Why? What does it do? I feel like I'm being jabated right now. What does that do? I have no idea. Then why are you telling me Nomad? Dielectric soup? <laughs> Problem makes cry talks? Nomad, I don't think that's how it works. Uh, so I only have ever lubed one set and now I'm lazy. I get that though. Uh, if anything, Nomad, realistically, I don't even think it'll mix properly. I don't, I don't think perm like a uh, dielectric grease and water will mix at all. I, I think they'll, they're like on a technical basis. They'll probably just end up separating. I got a question for you then, Alex. Do you have a specific myth mythology or how has your switch lubing changed over the years? Uh, some say don't brush the pole of the stem. Some only lube the stems and other lube, let the lube transfer from bottom housing. Okay. I have a full video on this wrong dong because I really think there is a certain method to making sure your switches sound really good. But to sum it up, I only lube the stem and there were, there were actually parts 
of lubing a stem. Do I have a switch I can quickly crap, crap, uh, crap open? Crack open for you guys? Here, let me crack open this guy. I know this is a, uh, a tactile, but let me just show you guys something really quickly here. All right, I actually already lubed this one, but interesting topic right here. I'm only currently lubing and filming my Epsilon while watching. So here, I'll zoom in. I think this is a super interesting topic actually. Oh, don't shake too much, baby, come on. Okay, so here are some points of the switch that I actually, I only lube this by the way. You, This is a must avoid, the stem over here, must avoid this. Do not for everything Good holy. Morning, Alex. Maple Cookie. I love your name by the way, Maple Cookie. Love love you, dude. Thank you so much for 4 months. Do not do not lube this part. I know I know there are some people who like putting a small amount of lube on this, but even a small amount can end up making it just really 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 bad sounding. You could, you could have the potential to fuck up. So just leave that. Do not touch the pole. Another thing you have up, I mean, I loop all the sides of this on tactiles. I sometimes avoid the legs. So whatever, you can do that on tactiles if you want. Light loop, coat of looping everywhere else. Here are two things you can do to your switch to make it sound different. So some people I know uh, lube this part right here, this bottom side. This will actually help some sound profile. Like it'll make it a little bit more not mute it, but soften. Uh, I don't lube this at all. I avoid lubing this part because I like the bottom out. Second of all, you can avoid lubing, which I do for some keyboards, depending on the keyboard. You can avoid lubing the top right here. This is the, the top, like the um, impact when it comes back, the, uh, when, it, when you're, after you finish actuating it, uh, that impact will kind of make a loud sound. So some people really like that. I always, for the most part, lube it, but there are some builds that I thought sounded a little bit too soft. So I've gone back and like wiped off all the lube there. But this is another option you can do to not lube and create a different sound profile. So those are one, two things you can do just from lubing the stem to make your keyboard sound different. Uh, creating different amounts of lube will also change the way your keyboard sounds too. So just be be um, be mindful of all this stuff and kind of just have fun playing with it. But for the most part, I lube everything exactly the same, which is just lubing the stem, a little bit of lube on the spring, you pop it back in. Also, another tip I can give you guys. I know some people live by this tip, um, how can I word this and still be nice at the same time? This is going to be a tough one because I feel like some people are going to get offended by this. Stop taking lazy ways to lube things. Don't bag lube. Don't donut dip. Don't just do things consist where you have consistency. Con the only thing you can bag lube are springs. Consistency is key to making your keyboard sound good. I, I hate the, I, I, it's, well, I don't hate, but it's a gripe of mine when people tell me that they're taking these large shortcuts like donut dipping their springs and, cause they don't wanna spend two whole seconds making sure it's consistent. There are negatives that come with all of those things that I don't think people fully comprehend or comprehend, not comprehend. Uh, it's in, I'm consistently bad. Does that count? That, that counts. At least you're consistent, right? Shark? Donut dipping is bad. So with donut dipping, you can actually, um, get lubricant in the well of the stem, which creates that weird, like vacuum, like squishy sound, like the <laughs> kind of sound that you get with switches sometimes if you've over lubed it and put too much lube in this, into the well. Um, but yeah, just avoid that. Don't do that. I love talking about these analytical topics like this with keyboards. But uh, I know everyone has their own methods, but I will say after trying a lot of different methods to loop things and shortcuts and all this, don't do those things. Bro, you just blew my mind. How so? Now I gotta wipe off a bunch of switches. Wait, Dane, what part? 
Uh, blender lubing works really well. Blender lubing? SpongeBob boots is the next trend, uh, coming trend. You heard it here first. Oh, the walking sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get you. I get you. Can you show us some bag lubed R059s sometimes? What is that? Is that a type of lube? Alex out here giving the secrets to the universe? Uh, it's just, cons it's, dude, with anything in life, this is not just keyboard stuff. Consistency and just being consistent with things is also very good. R059 is endgame. Is it a type of lube? Alex, have you ever tried Aqua Switches? Yeah, they're okay. I like Aqua Switches. They're still, they're made by the people who, I think Aqua is what? KTT, right? I don't think bag lubing springs with oil is any way worse than doing, and you can do anything you want with springs. Like, as long as it's consistent. Bag lubing with an oil is 100% okay. I do it all the time. Alex not gatekeeping, let's go. Let's go, dude. Uh, the stem pole, I tried it on my Meteor V3's massive difference. Oh yeah, Dane, never ever touch the stem pole. It is, I don't know who started lubing that, who, who thought it was a good idea, but it creates basically a vacuum. So I don't know, I don't wanna physically demo this to you guys. This is, this is like gonna look weird and I don't wanna do it, all right? But just imagine a vacuum of like a pole entering a, the, something of the, the same size, all right? And there's no space for it. And you, like there's a little bit of air that you can kind of get that's not gonna create a vacuum. And then you put lube and you close off that gap. So now you're just creating this like weird. It's kind of like your pen. You need a demonstration. I don't want to. We should demo it together. Huh? I don't understand. I need to see it. Like switch queefs. All right, guys, we're going to move on from this topic, I think. Yeah, we're going to move on from this topic, I think. Um... I don't like where this is going. I'm a visual learner. Huh? Yeah, I think I think we'll just demo with a pen pop. Yeah, we'll just. I come in to <laughs> Elquan, thank you so much for the five tier ones, dude. Alex, hello. Stacy, the the listen, Stacy, the the conversation was wholesome. It was all analytical, and they turned it sus. I'm blaming chat here, right? This is all chat. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> there you guys go. Pen pop. Here, do one more for you guys. Wholesome. Okay, you toy. But don't lube the pole of the switch ever. I'm, uh, I'm telling you guys, it is the worst thing you could do. You're going to ruin all your switches. It's very hard to clean. Just don't do it. Waste of time. Again, I don't know who started that trend. But uh, it's been nothing but bad times for me with that with that kind of stuff. Bad, bad times. But Dane, I hope you get them all clean, dude. I hope you get your poles all cleaned. That sounds just as worse as I thought it was gonna sound. Crope, thank you so much for the prime. I really appreciate it. I'm sure trying. Hey yo. <laughs> um, wait, Stacy, did you see Blackpink live? Let's go. Cursed combo. I mean, it's really hard to have keyboard combos and it not turn into something degenerate afterwards. So <laughs> I'm gonna send a special batch of lube pulls down, huh? <laughs> oh, I gotta check out that clip later. Uh, keep your pulls clean, always. To be honest, Alex can blame me. I asked the initial question, but you did it in an analytical way, so. Alex, on the topic of cleaning and stuff uh, with your stab lube guide, did you, you didn't really go into depth with wire balancing. It was a make or break for mine. My TSYs were not Hope everyone's having a great me. Sunday. Sending chill vibes to all. Thank you, Lucid. beer mugs. Thank you, thank you, dude. Um, My take on wire balancing is it's important, but it's not the end of the world. The reason I didn't go into too much depth and like, I didn't want to like, um, it's, it's, uh, I don't like over explaining things. I never do. Unless it's live, like where I'm not scripted. Sure, I can over explain something. But when I'm scripting something, I don't like to over explain. The whole point is to get people interested in the topic of wire balancing, which can, you can go down many rabbit holes with wire balancing. 
but the whole point was to show people that this is something that's equally as important when you're doing your stabilizers. And I think it did its job. Yo, uh, two months so Hey, already. nefarious. Thank Time you so much flies. for the two months, dude. Love the content, Alex. Can I get a pen pop? Could I get a can. pen pop? Um, I don't necessarily need wires pin straight. Well, that was a good one. Um, yeah, I don't need wires pin straight, but uh, poorly balanced wires, like when they're really shitty, like they're gonna cause problems. Um, stock wires are typically better than, oh yeah, poorly balanced, wait, same thing we just said, Chris, that's crazy. We're like this, we're like this, man. Uh, that's a good pop, that was a great pop. Shit, man, we, it's 50 minutes, I haven't even done the stabs. I'm feeling like lull stacks right now, that's crazy. I feel like if I mess with wire, I can only make them worse. You just want them, like I'll show you guys again with these stabs, I don't think these will need balancing, but you just want them to be sorta of straight. That's it, sorta of straight. You don't need them to be like 100%, you know, analytically like, boom, straight. Lull stacks, this wild, oh my God, it's not this, I love Ryan, dude. Well, Lost Stacks wouldn't even have the board out yet. What time does Ryan usually get his board out? Is it like two hour mark? I haven't caught a Lost Stack stream, which feels like in too long. <laughs> two hour mark? Oh man. Lost Stack would still be an hour away from starting his build. You know, I'm gonna give props to Ryan though, man. He's a good talker. I'll tell you that much. He's good at keeping a conversation going. So, Nine Eyes getting to that point too. Oh, goodness. For me, though, it's like 10 minutes of warming up, talking, and then have the conversation while I build something. But yeah, that's crazy. I don't think I, I don't think I could do like two hours. I think I would just like, I mean, I could, but then I feel like I wouldn't want to build the keyboard afterwards. All right. These are done. Is this 6.25 or seven or was this PCB both? Both, okay, we'll use seven you. Like this is perfect for me. Even though it's ticking a little bit, you're never gonna get this perfectly balanced. And even if you do, it's such, the, the return on investment for time there is nothing. So this is good. Like you can just do a little bit. It's fine. You don't need to go too crazy. Now, I do agree. There are some times where you do want to go crazy and make sure your, your stab is 100% perfect. If it came from a place of being not perfect in the first place. <sighs> can you say, I don't want to say that. Why, why am I saying that? I feel like this is a bait and I'm gonna get in trouble, so I'm not gonna do it. Spacebar wires look, looks bet. Uh, bent, oh. Mine? Uh, you guys are weird. When rotate key mat is, oh. Here, I'll do it right now for you. I don't know why it always ends up upside down. Always does. Actually, it's probably better this way right now. For looping stabs, is it a similar thing to switches? sort of, but it's light. You want to do very light coats. And then when I take dielectric grease, you do a little bit of dielectric grease. You don't do much. And then I don't go past the wire with dielectric grease. I actually always just add a little bit of 20520 on the wire bend post install. That's all. And the rest you can just do post install. Dane, thank you so much for 100 thank bits, dude. Thank you for changing my life. You are wonderful. Dane, did it really impact the switches that much? I'm curious to see how much lube you had on the stem pulls, Dane. But yeah, PSAs for any, if, any, if you guys want tips for anything, please feel free, ask away. Oh yeah, that's awesome, dude. We love that, man. Um, Alex, you're damn back. Is that key mat upside down? I do a good smear, smear. Oh, you know what I started watching, guys? Can I get tips on how to be cute as you? Kenny, you already are, man. Come on, man. Okay, you guys are giving me compliments now. That's not fair, dude. You guys are gonna make me blush. Okay, Zoto. 
Zelda's getting weird. Um, I started watching The Good Doctor. I've been seeing it all over social media. I was like, fuck it, let me just watch it. Actually, not too bad. So season one was great. I don't know why people are, people seem to like really hate the show for some weird reason. Elkhorn wants a compliment. You know what's great all the time? Elkhorn, dude, 24 seven. This guy here, I swear to God, dude, I've never found Elkhorn not great. It's crazy, dude. Elkhorn, I love you. I hope you have a good Sunday, dude. All right. They pulled the Game of Thrones. Does that mean the ending was bad? I mean, whatever. Uh, tips for anything, even software architecture. Uh, well, okay, you know what, Saul? I don't think I got tips for that. Saul, what level are you in uh, Diablo now? I'm about to make a bologna sandwich. Wait, did you say bologna? Is that, what is that? Bol, bolog? Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I feel stupid right now. Come on, switch. Sixty-three was busy with work. You're sixty-three. Holy, that is crazy. Um, that is too crazy. A Atun Con Maze. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. When I ask, when I tell you something, I'm, I'm uncomfortable doing something. This is a good life lesson, right? When I say, "Hey, I'm not comfortable doing that," or "I don't want to do something," it means I don't want to do it. Asking a third, fourth time, I think you've sent it four times now, guess what's not gonna happen? That thing that you asked the first time, all right? It's really annoying and I think you need to like pace yourself. Um, no means no. Great life, 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 uh, life lesson even past streaming that you need to learn. So uh, peace out, see ya bro, come on. Life lesson there for you, buddy. Um, Alex, do you know what's crazy? Tell me, burbs. Tell me, dude. Do you ever get impatient when lubing your switches and stabs? I mean, I watch TV while I'm lubing them, so not really. I get a little bit bored sometimes, but... Not always, dude. I think also not lubing the bottom housing has helped with the sound. It makes it super consistent. You don't need to lube the bottom housing at all. Oh gosh. I hate pushing these switches in. Ah. Or these... Wait, is this wire not... Oh god, dude. These M1 stabs are kind of annoying. I hope I never become annoying like that guy. I don't know, weird, weird energy, man. Uh, see people keep asking questions but taking a hint of you and can answer. Joke, what's crazy is how good your stash is? Okay. Actually, I think my mustache turned out good today. It's real nice today. Thank you, Burbs. Burbs. Guys, when I tell you Burbs is insane at TFT, Burbs is insane at TFT. It's wild, dude. Do anything fun over the weekend? We did some family stuff yesterday, and then we had a friend over. Um, in between that, I tried to sneak in a few emails. I did all my emails. Every email should be ca uh, re like caught up on as of this weekend now. But, um, Today's the work day. Today is like me doing work. I do want to run. Tell me if this is stupid, actually. I need you guys' opinion. I want to run to the Apple store because I saw that they have this. Um... Okay, I really want to get like a phone mount that I can put right here with a charger on it because I tend to miss a lot of notifications because I'm like full screen on an app and I don't want a second monitor right now but I do feel like my phone has all the same notifications I need. So I was considering getting a little phone mount. But they do have one, at the, okay, I, the reason I wanna to go to Apple is they do have, I think Rusty just said it, the 12 South one. It's a, both a stand and a wireless charger. So I don't think it's too crazy expensive. How much is it Rusty, like $60, 50 bucks? It's, it's expensive, but it's not too crazy, especially if I can just get both in one. So that's kind of what I want. Do you want me to send the board pretty soon or more towards the date? Send it as soon as possible, Dane. As soon as possible. Because um, my the way I, the way I uh, do my scheduling is the moment it arrives is when the time happens. I think I think I put that in my like little sp spiel these days, but... All right, let's put these things in the PC. These are M1 stabilizers. We'll see how, I mean, like, I think I've used them once before. They seemed fine. I'm not sure the price of these things. They seem okay, though. 
You know what I do like that's in this package though? They put the washers already on the screws and I can appreciate that. What are my opinions on QK60? Uh, the QK60 was the only board in the QK lineup that I thought was good. Everything else has been okay. Like it's been enjoyable and I appreciate people who really like it. But um, I don't know, QK stuff. <sighs> when you look at it objectively, all right? When you look at it as, I'm gonna use my lens of how I view things as an example. I'm someone who likes keyboards, um, all types of keyboards. I don't hate keyboards that are cheaper, nor do I hate keyboards that are more expensive, nor do I have like an if, like a bias towards pricing. But when it comes down to like, I have some really great 65s and some really great 60s and it takes a lot for me to like something new. Like there has to be something different about a board. The Envoy had a totally different new mounting system. You know, like the Salvation had a different mounting system. Um, there are things that push the envelope with, you, with uh, what you can do. QK, I like what they did with the spring. I like what they did with the QK60. Everything else has been moot. So there's no reason as me, as someone who like likes and is fascinated in those different things, that, those things that push the envelope, there's no reason for me to get those things. Um, there might, and here's the thing, right? There is going to be a reason for people to get those things who don't already have those things, if that makes sense. If you are someone newer to the hobby, um, QK and Owl are basically the same thing. It's honestly the same. They're the same type of, like the same branding, I believe. I think it's all, the, I'm pretty positive it's like the same thing. Um, but, uh, you know, when, when, you're, when you're someone who's kind of new to the hobby, it's uh, it's more appealing. You want to get those things. Like it's it's good pricing. It's good quality. I would. I'm not trying to speak on behalf of people who have things already. But if you already have been in the hobby and you have a few things, the QK75, the QK like the QK series in general becomes less attractive because it's um, it's not quite the same caliber of design, etc. That you might get on someone who is making small batch products um, with the idea of making something that's more designer opposed to uh, something that's more accessible, right? We use, I think that's the best word that we can use. QK aims to be accessible with good pricing. And I think that is the best way you can describe QK. QK is great if you're just entering the hobby. I bought a 75 as my first custom, but already doubt that there's room for it now. I'm looking at high-end boards. Exactly. I think it's a great stepping stone. Uh, I've always looked at it as OWL is meant to push boundaries and come up with new things. QK is just budget-friendly boards. You know, you're not wrong. I think that's a great way to look at it too, Oak. It's a trap to order more entry-level boards. Yeah. Ultimately, though, make your own decisions, guys. Please don't ever rely on, like, my decision or, like, you know, anyone's decision as like law. I think there is value in looking into many people's decisions and forming your opinion based off of lots of knowledge opposed to one person's. If it doesn't have a knob, I don't want it. Oh, Burbs. Burbs is that, he likes that knob, dude. By the way, Alex, or by Alex, are you, you are the keyboard god. What you go says, or what you say goes. Okay, I'm misreading things. Actually, I listen to Tim Keyless. Most of my knowledge comes from Timothy Keyless. So whenever I'm telling you guys something, Tim's probably already said it one time. Uh, p being here in chat has made me regret the QK75 before it even shipped. Have they not shipped the QK75 yet? Alex, do a tape mod, Nomadic. I don't think we're gonna tape mod this. I don't even know why we would do a tape mod yet. Uh, when a god references another god, Burbs is a god, bro. That's crazy. EU renders are late with it. Oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Oh, I have my QK75, but it's um, it's nice looking. It sounds pretty decent. Nothing too crazy. That's the way I felt about it, and people gave me shit for it. When I said there was nothing inherently special about the QK75, people were throwing 
shade at me. Like it was, they're just like, how could you say this? And that's when I kind of realized that people who enjoy QK keyboards, they're gonna enjoy them. And by all means, let them enjoy it. But they've kind of created this like little click around enjoying stuff. And then if the moment you have any sort of criticism towards things, which is a really bad mentality to have, um, they just kind of fire back at you. And it's just, it's not healthy. Uh, just make sure you don't chip the back when you're doing the last step of the build. Wait, what happened? You chipped your sonnet? I like my QQ75, but it was underwhelming by the, yeah. And, and here's the thing, right? People are going to have different experiences with different products and all this jazz. Some people may love the QK75, some people may hate it, but the way that I've always told you guys that I want to, I, I want this channel to be, all right? The way I've always said it, this channel is about my experiences with keyboards. Take it, take it or leave it. That's it. We talk about tons of things. And when we talk about keyboards, it's my perspective on things. We ask you guys what you feel, you know, like it's my perspective. And I think it's very, uh, it's hard to balance sometimes like objectivity with also my, my like experiences with the hobby and stuff, but that's all it is. At the end of the day, that's all it is. Oh, was it the, oh man, you scratched the silver, silver part of it. That's unfortunate. I hope it still looks okay. Hi, Alex. What day will the Molly 60 be? Um, the Molly 60. Which one's the Molly 60? I have a. Is that the one by. by um, hold on. Let me look at my schedule here. I think I know which one you're talking about, but I didn't know it was called the Molly 60. You mean the Class 60? By. I mean, that's all I have. Uh, is there a Molly 60 I'm supposed to be doing? The super budget build by Nland Keys. Am I doing that board? I might be doing that board, but I don't, for some reason, I don't recall the name of it. I don't think I'm doing that. I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, okay, Alex, so what is your perspective on split backspace? If people like it, people like it. I have no hate towards it at all. Split backspace ain't a big deal to me. I, I have it on a bunch of boards. I use it. Sometimes I wish the keyboard community could be more inclusive for the people with different tastes and sound profiles. Okay, this is gonna be a super hot take of what I, not even a hot take. Dude, I'm gonna pause everything for a second, okay? This is how I find the keyboard community works. It's incredibly frustrating, um, but this is basically my, again, my lens, my perspective of how shit works these days. Keyboard comes out, it's, genuinely loved by people. Um, people are like, this isn't, you know, like this is what we've been waiting for. This is like the thing, like this is the more affordable thing. It has all the things we've been wanting. You know, finally we get this thing. And then those same people who are like fighting for, you know, no gatekeepers and stuff like that. The moment something else comes out that challenges what they like, they start gatekeeping because they can't bear to have the thing that they like become obsolete, which is totally, totally fair and totally within human nature, I find. Because you don't want that thing that you just finished like feeling great about to feel obsolete. But then they'll start gatekeeping. And that's the way I've been seeing a lot of like the more entry level. I mean, even to some degree, maybe some of the more expensive stuff too, but I've been seeing that a lot, man. That's why it's so tough for me to want to do uh, entry level boards or just, boards with better price points because you got that kind of like hostile mentality of like this is the best thing and then the next thing comes out it's like no that thing sucks i bought this thing so it's tough it's tough to like do things like that these days but dude i've been seeing that so often so so often i feel like this hobby is becoming too mainstream in a sense i get what you're saying by that I don't think it's necessarily too mainstream, really. It's just the mentality of people being like, <sighs> I get what you're saying though. Like, is not doing keyboard designs in the near future? Oh really, how come? Like what are they gonna be doing? I love Studio Kestra stuff, always been a big fan. 
for me, Alex's statement is understandable. Yeah, I don't mean to like, if that statement offends anyone, by the way, it's not meant to. It's just what I've been noticing, you know? The purple stems. Yeah, I like these switches. Actually, the hay switches are, are nice. Layout gatekeeping, sound profile gatekeeping, price point gatekeeping. We should not let people, we should let people like what they like. I once, a, a few times, I've made this tweet. I've, I've said this, you know. I find a lot of people in this community, they'll preach uh, about how they want people to like what they want to like. And you know, maybe this is a reflection on real life too. Who knows? Like what you want to like, no, like have preferences, blah, 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 blah. And then I find those same people who like hardcore preach that man. They're the first people to turn around and start judging other people. It's crazy, dude. And for a community that's probably cemented in preference, we love, like, it's crazy. I'll, I'll use a blanket term here. We love judging people. It's crazy, dude. That's why, like, there needs to be a clear cut. And I feel like a lot of people get offended but there needs to be a clear cut of what's constructive criticism versus what is gatekeeping and what is useless opinions in some cases. And I don't mean every opinion is useless. I mean, non-constructive bullshit that people talk about. Uh, shouldn't you cut the PCB tabs? You are totally right. I should cut those PCB tabs. I totally forgot to do that. Uh, you know what, we can just yoink out the plate here. I didn't put too many switches in. Um, I think we should gatekeep companies that are just in it for cash grabs. IMO? Don't. Let them fail on their own. And you know what's, you know what uh, is great about that? Sometimes those companies can have a great idea. So why would we want to get gatekeep anyone? Even people who are in it for the money, let them do what they want to do, right? Um, I do agree there needs to be, uh, in, in, in a lot of cases, in a lot of scenarios in life, a lot of avenues in life, there needs to be better you know, regulating with certain things, but I, I don't think we need to gatekeep anybody. There's no, there's no reason, there's no person that needs to be gatekept. Competition, and this is something that if you really want to dig deep into life, um, competition drives innovation. And uh, the reason I feel like a lot of things have been stagnant in life these days, man, you look, you look at even, I know this is not a great example, but you look at grocery stores. Dude, here in Canada, I feel like there's two fucking grocery chains. That's it. There might look like there's a million, but they're all owned by two people, two or three people. Right? So there needs to be competition. There needs to be. And I feel like that's why these, these budding hobbies like this, where everyone's very individualized, it's awesome. You can really see competition. You can really see people trying to outdo one another. And I think that's a lovely thing. You know, even in the content creator world, you'll see people trying to like duplicate or, you know, one up other people's content. And I think that's awesome. That pushes you to do better. You know, even in, even with, with what I do, there'll be someone maybe who joins in and has like amazing photos, and I'm like, well, fuck, I gotta be, be I gotta be better than that to stand out now, and that you know I might hate it for a little while, but that really pushes you to be a better person, a better uh, individual because you're able to accept challenge in a constructive way. Not to say you're gonna feel salty about it. That's totally, totally realistic, but. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people with, with designers to value slash price wars. Yeah, we're going to see that. I, I think the price war is going to be crappy at the end of the day, but uh, it's, it's good. It gets a lot of more people like who maybe can't afford things, um, into the hobby. So dude, some of the people in your photography channel blow my mind. Yeah. There's some really talented people. We can all hate on Glorious, but they became a catalyst for uh, others to do great things. But that's the way I always saw it, you know? Even when people were like really knocking their GMMK Pro at the beginning, 
I'm like, well, this is accessible and we don't have a lot of accessible in this hobby. So why not celebrate that despite how like meh and bland they are outside of that. But I mean, ultimately they still show their real colors and whatever they, they are judged upon that. So um, your stabs are always pushing me to lube my stabs better. Hey, dude, it's all a learning game. Um, creators are usually gate gateways into more creators, so all gravy. Yeah, there's that too, for sure. I want that's a that's a fantastic way to look at things. Any springs you recommend if you're looking to swap stock springs? TX long springs are my fave, dude. Your stabs just pushed me to submit a commission because I knew I could never match. Oh, Bri. Bri, you're gonna love your board, by the way. You're gonna love it. Uh, do you have any tips on that little last tick I can never get rid of when lubing stabs? Have you tried? Does anyone, have... okay, well, maybe you can look it up far. I don't have it on hand, but on my YouTube channel, I think I have a short on uh, what to do if you can't seem to get rid of that last tick on stabs. It's using saran wrap. Sometimes it's actually not even the stabilizer. It's literally your keycap. And yes, wire balancing is a real thing, but it's not like the forefront of what makes a stab awesome. It's part of what makes a stab awesome. Uh, have you tried Gideon V2 stabs? You know what? Not as much as I should. I keep telling myself I want to use more Gateron stabs, but I think they're also kind of expensive. I think I just still pick cherry stabs up. Clip-ins, man, are still like the best. Sometimes when I can't get rid of the tick, I just twist the space bar and it's fine. Oh, you're probably putting some pressure. Yeah, that, makes, that would actually make sense. Probably putting some pressure on this stems so they don't rattle around. Warped keycaps can cause a lot of weird sounds. Guys, can I also say something? I've been seeing some people in different avenues of the keyboard hobby uh, recommend boiling their ABS keycaps. Can we not do that? Um, there's a reason why nobody does that, and I, I'd hate to see people starting to do that. Uh, let's not recommend that anymore, yeah? Let's, uh, yeah, can we just not do that with ABS? You can do it with PBT, sure, but let's not do it with the ABS stuff. It, it doesn't turn out well. But I have been seeing people do, like, recommend that to people, and let's stop. Um, with ABS, guys, I don't know a great way to do it. It's doable, but it has to be like a precise temperature for it to work well. Which is probably outside of a lot of people's realm of like doability. What's the pen you have called? It's uh, from CW and T. I put mine in, a, in the oven for three minutes at 375. The ABS one? Does that work? Don't boil it, just put it high temp steam. Yeah, that could work too. I've always, for most of my space bars, just used a hair dryer with, obviously use protection on your hands, hair, like a, a high temp glove, a little high hair dryer, and then just like heat it up. That's it, man. Not too hot either. I never go the hottest. Never ever. Okay. Let's solder, shall we, everybody? 3D printer to heat up their space bar. How does that work? That sounds kind of interesting. 3D heater or a 3D printer. The recent GMK, the ones fulfilling around late May, the space bars are dummy straight now. I, I personally, to this day, have I own a lot of GMK sets. It's I, I have bought stuff used from other people. I have bought stuff from vendors. I have had vendors ship me out things. To this day, I've had two, two GMK space bars. Happen to be both Crimson Cadet sets that have been warped to the point where it's not unusable, but it's not my preference. I, I do think, based off of my collection of things, that it's not as common as people think with GMK stuff. I, I could be very, very wrong, but I just don't think it's as uh, big of an issue compared to the amount of PBT that I've had that have ended up being crappy. Alex, what's the name of the pen? My wife, I cut out, oh, uh, CW&T. 
It's um, one of their pens. I don't remember the exact model of it, but. Oh, Joey got it. Joey's awesome. Love you, Joey. Handmade wires out of other materials other than metal. So people have, I think Owl Labs did make a wire out of like a memory metal, which ended up being pretty awesome. A lot of people enjoy those, but there is one downside with those is if they turn out to be not straight out of the box, then you're never gonna get them straight. All right, time to solder a little bit. Time to solder, solder, solder. Where is my, there it is. How do you know when to change the filter on your Kodo? I just do it once a month. I actually, dude, I have not been soldering as much lately. Everyone has been sending me hot swap stuff. So soldering has not been like uh, something I do as often, I guess. You'll be soldering Tuesday, buddy? Yeah, I mean, I think this week I'll be soldering a lot. Well, dude, I think last week I soldered one the whole time. Guys, I, sh I, sh I drink a lot of water and now I have to use the restroom. Will you guys excuse me for one minute? Enjoy the sound of this fan. Prince! Wait, I have to go in one second here, but... Hey Alex, I don't have a witty message for you today, oh, but man. thanks again for fostering excellence in the keyboard community. Dude, Alex anytime, Prince. Love you, dude. I hope you're also having a great day today, man. And uh, I'll, I'll do the best that I can. Let me drink one more sip of water, then I'm gonna use the restroom. Then it's some more time for you guys, okay? actually kind of loud. I can hear it from the other room. Jesus. White noise. Uh, it's 1.24 a.m. for me right now. Uh, dude, lettuce, I'm not... Dude, last night I stayed up way too late playing games. It's soothing. A lot of people fall asleep to white noise. I love soldering things. So calming. I used to actually need white noise a while ago. For some reason, I couldn't fall asleep without it. When I moved downtown, luckily the white noise I didn't need to, to use anymore because I have the sounds of, you know, like the city and stuff, but yeah, it's, I don't know why it's so soothing. I don't know what it does to the brain. It'd be cool to actually learn about that. I, I honestly hate the smell of solder, but My girlfriend actually showed me the different kind of white noises, like brown, pink, and so on. There's also uh, what's the, there's also like a green, I believe, too, that I was like looking into. It's like a dream one or something. I don't remember what it is. Will there be a video on Friday's sonnet? Um, I wasn't planning on doing it, but do you guys want a video on the sonnet from Friday? Manoli's on a bit of a vacation, so I'm going to have to be editing all the videos, so uh, I don't know how many I can crank out this week. Alex, how am I doing? Pancakes, thank you for asking. I'm doing pretty good today. After I'm done soldering here, I'm going to pack a few things. 
uh, run out to the maybe the mall or something like that. I low key want to go to Uniqlo as well. I want to get some base like one or two basic T-shirts. I can't seem to find my green shirt from Uniqlo. So, I would like to see a Sonnet vid. That was a cool build. Yeah, I can do that for you guys then. If that's what the consensus is, we shall do it. Uniqlo? What did I say? The Big Toronto Mall? Uh, I don't know. I don't know which mall I'm going to go to. I, I think Yorkdale in Canada, like in Toronto, is my favorite mall. But I'm also a bit of a distance away from Yorkdale. Uh, wearing a beige Uniqlo t-shirt right now. I love it, dude. Yorkdale's Pokemon cards? Wait, where? Wait, Nomad, where does Yorkdale Pokemon cards? I'm trying to think. You're in the Indigo? They have Pokemon cards in Indigo? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, you know what? They probably do because they have like a toy area. That makes sense. Uh, COS shirts are nice, but I can only afford when it's on sales. I've seen COS. I think, uh, believe it or not, I think Yorkdale might have one. Are they actually nice? I don't know a lot of clothing brands. Something I'm not too well versed in. Happy Sunday, checkmate. Thank you very much, dude. I hope you're having a great Sunday, too. The best of Sundays. None. Have a great build, Alex Zoboy. Thank you, I appreciate you. I hope you even have a better day today, man. Thank you so much for the well. Kind wishes. Uh, Alex, how to get raffle wins? I've been picking up L's. Dude, I have the worst luck on the planet. Um, so I'm going to be honest. Dude, I have no idea. One time I played, the one time in forever, I played Monopoly with some friends and my girlfriend. Um, I didn't even get to get a property. I stayed in jail for uh, the, while well, they, they did like three laps around the board. And every single time I got out of jail, I would just land and go to jail. I am not lucky at all. Um, there's no, I, I, I don't get lucky. By the way, that was the most boring Monopoly game I've ever played in my entire life. I did not leave jail. I just stayed in jail the entire game until I just was out. So stupid. So stupid. Uh, Caitlin asked, when uh, was soldering really quick to learn? Hmm. I would say soldering was really easy to pick up. Like it was pretty easy to just start soldering. I think the difficulty with soldering was learning how to solder properly. But um, I'm, I'm fairly certain that if you just want to learn to solder, it's a very easy, quick kind of skill to pick up. But maybe it takes a few PCBs and a few times around the block to master, if that makes sense. That's pretty sad, Alex. Some trauma. I'm never playing Monopoly again. F that game, dude. Alex living the outlaw life. I'm living the, uh, that was living the um, owning no property life. So basically my real life. Zach, hydrate, give me one second. We'll do some coffee. The universe would be unfair if you had that face and luck. Damn, thank you, Kai, appreciate that, man. I do think that if you're gonna start soldering and solder often, I uh, personally would uh, recommend buying a proper soldering iron that has consistent heat output to get better soldering joints. I know a lot of people will buy like a cheap soldering iron. There's nothing wrong with those at all if you do one or two small projects. But if you're doing it for like clients or even if you just want like really consistent good work, a good soldering iron is a very, very good investment. What switch opener do you use most often and also high Um I use the Alum, Alum KB one, this guy. 
This is my go-to. I love this one. The cube one. Absolute go-to. This has been amazing. I like the size of it. It's good. My go-to switch opener. Yeah, like the pine cell ones are great. But again, if you're doing it for like long-term use, you can get away with using any of those things. But a good soldering iron and good tools are never ever a bad thing to have. Uh, but I hope that answers your question, Kaylee. What's the difference between a cheap and expensive soldering iron? So consistency of heat. There's a lot of technical videos you can probably watch on this that'll do a way better job explaining this than I can. But um, when you push in solder, you'll lose some temperature because that heat is transferring. And a, a really good soldering iron will have a better consistency of heat, which leads to like, in some cases, less splattering, just consistency. Again, consistency is huge. Home cooked meal this week. Do you chicken thighs? Chicken thighs, broccoli, and maybe do like a, a homemade like honey glaze or some sort on the chicken thighs. Maybe a bit of rice on the side too. Steak is already on there. Chicken thighs could be good, yeah. Or you could do chicken breast, but chicken breast, some people are not too keen on how to make it and stuff. Dude, violet on cream is nice pancakes. I like it. Uh, Kikobo pricing is whack, so I can't be down with them. The price is just under GMK, but their costs are way lower. I mean, at least Kikobo is right now, like, I think their quality is really good. I don't know about their costs and stuff. I have no idea. I, I have no clue what their manufacturing cost is, etc., etc. But I've been enjoying Kikobo stuff. Good alternative to GMK. Save you a few bucks on it too. If anything, wait till it's on sale. Uh, gonna have to drop. Thanks for the stream, Alex. Hey, dude, no worries. You have a good rest of your day too, okay? See you around. Love you, buddy. PBT fans, ABS is banger for the buck. I wish PBT fans would more clearly designate their ABS stuff. It's hard to understand which one's which sometimes. The stream is so supportive. A hey, nomad. Try my best. Hi, chat. Hi, Alex. Hi, Philip. Uh, hey, guys. What do you all think of the GMK Stealth set? I like it a lot. I never bought it, though. I bought the, the cap for it, the artisan. Which I don't even remember where I put. It's on a board somewhere. Um, why are they called PBT fans if they do ABS sets? Dude, honestly, I feel you on that, man. I was so confused when they were sending me ABS stuff, and I'm like, dude, are you guys not PBT though? Like, is this not a PBT company? Like, what's going on? 100% agree though. <laughs> it's super confusing. I would prefer them to like have some sort of like ABS fans lineup where it's just like easier to understand. So, um, <laughs> so confusing though, dude. It's very misleading. I don't like it at all. Yep. Even for the opposite reason, too. Like, imagine if you won at PBT and you accidentally buy one, thinking it's PBT, judged by the uh, the title of it, and you buy an ABS set. Super weird. ABS fans sounds like a bodybuilding gym. <laughs> Abs fans? Oh, true, dude. That is actually true. I need to go to the gym today. I need to get back to my regular schedule this week. I should definitely not have streamed as many boards as I did last week. I did way too many keyboard projects. Not that it's a bad thing, but I definitely shouldn't have done it. What's the artisan on my Envoy? So Salvin made that for me. That's not anything that's available right now, but Salvin sent one just as like a gift. 
So I decided it would look nice on that. Oh yeah, who ended up picking up a transition TKL? I, I still haven't posted the photos of that, I need to. I think the transition's a great photo. Uh, just got GMK panels, definitely a crazy colorway. It's my usual style, but seeing photos I had to cop it. Man, does the set look pretty? Yes, sir. It's a, it's a nice looking set. Panels is something I'm considering about bothering Mike for. I think, yeah, I think there's only one vendor, it's just swipe keys, and then maybe one other vendor for it, for uh, a different region, but I think it swag keys is it. All right. I love the primary color or anything, uh, color or anything in panels is perfect. Per yeah, panels is quite nice. Waiting for more boards to come out from Gawk? Ooh, when is Gawk's ne next project happening? I'm not even sure about that. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna go photograph a baseball game for the newspaper and listen to the stream. What a Sunday. Oh, wow, that sounds awesome. That sounds like a fun day. Wait, that sounds crazy cool. I like that. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at my photos for the uh, transition. I need to edit these. Actually, you know what? That's probably what I'm gonna do for the next like hour or two is just like edit a few photos. Sounds actually kind of fun. And I wanna post the transition photos. I loved the way that board looked. It is so damn pretty. All right, let's put some gaskets on. Type K, um, I'm not sure. Honestly, not sure. Yeah, transition was a beautiful keyboard. Are you guys are you guys picking it up? I think, I think a few people really wanted it, but I'm not sure the general interest on it. I feel like the thing, the caveat with like running in stock products is sometimes you have people who like wait on it. Uh, NK creams, KTT roses, mode obscuras. Well, those are great sounding switches. Great, great sounding switches. Do you have any suggestions for a more high-pitched clacky switch? Oh, probably, probably anything long pole. If you go with anything long pole, you'll be in a good spot. What is going on with this particular gasket here? Why is this happening? Oh, I see why this is happening didn't cut properly. Okay, I think I have enough that I can just ignore this gasket. Uh, anything long pull, even you? Oh my God, Avo. Avo, come on, man. Okay, guys, I just picked up a burgundy transition. Oh, did you? Dude, the burgundy's nice in that. Hello to the sexiest, funniest, most awesome guy on Twitch less than three. Dude, I feel like it's been forever. How have you been? Thank you so much for 29 months, dude. I still have to get my oil changed and have a look at my shocks and whatever is making my mild scraping noise next month. Oh, for your car? Oh, definitely, definitely look into that. Never a good thing to have a, a vehicle that might be out of order. Oh fuck, I need some new tires. Hey, vehicle maintenance guys. I don't have a car, but my dad is a mechanic, so I know that some people, uh, they forget sometimes. It's okay, we're all human. But uh, definitely make sure your vehicle's up to, up to code. How do I fix, Alex? Wait, my exhaust shield has been rattling, but only when my car is, isn't warmed up. Easy, just let your car warm up. Guys, I'm not a mechanic. My dad is, come on. <laughs> Avo, just keep looking cute and it'll fix itself, all right? Or go to a mechanic, one of the two. Uh, nice, my dad's a mechanic as well. Car talk with Alex. Guys, I don't know anything about cars, all right? I'm a, keep it a buck. Know zero about vehicles. Is 
There's not enough uh, plum colored boards. I'd go with that. Plum? Plum's a nice color for boards. Agree, agree. How does a car sound? You walk or bike? Uh, I, I love walking. I think walking is fantastic. It's also very good for you. I do agree there is sometimes where you do have to, you know, buckle down and go somewhere and take a car, but walking is very good for you. Do I have a dream car? Mm, Jeep. I like Jeeps. A lot. I hate, I hate, hate, hate ribbon cables so very much. Okay, there we go. Uh, Canadian man is secretly American. I don't know, I always thought Jeeps were cool. They're kind of a neat looking car, truck, whatever you want to call it. Jeeps and Teslas. I don't know, I've just, my, my dad used to have one. That's what, I think they have a bit of nostalgia for me too, right? My parents are both Jeep people at one point. That's what everyone drives in, oh, I already read that one there. Is your car thocky? Oh gosh. Alex, you've been crushing it this week with the streams. I especially like the segment you did about lighting and photography. Oh dude, any anytime, man. I appreciate you guys coming through and watching the streams. I know, uh, I know you guys have all been busy too. It, I know I've been streaming a lot this week. So I definitely appreciate you guys all coming by. I just noticed the time got a dip. Take care, Bree. Have a good one. My brother has four different Jeeps. Damn, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely someone who likes walking. Helps you get those steps in. Helps you lead a good, healthy life, you know? Can we use GMK Redline for this? Oh, but I have Redline on the Kohaku. Do I take Redline off? I've seen their stuff, Pancake, but I've never seen it in person, so I can't really speak on it. Alex, have you heard of Starfield? Dude, I was just having this discussion with my dad. Bro, I don't know how I feel about Bethesda anymore. I, I honestly don't know how I feel about Bethesda. Also, to speak a little bit on this board too, I know we're still kind of assembling it. I don't know how I feel about this, this um, gasket tab, you know, this little flex cut, or not the flex cut, this little leaf spring kind of area right over here. Um, kind of wish they didn't put that there, but you know what? We'll see. Typically, again, when it comes to board design, this is a preference thing maybe, but I do find the majority of people end up liking no um, sort of tabs underneath the space bar. It gives you a more uh, softer space bar, which is less fatiguing on your thumb. But uh, it's not always a bad thing. Sometimes it feels great. Sometimes I eat my words on it, but typically I don't like it there. Also make your space bar sound a bit flat in some cases too. Finally starting my full-time job post-grad tomorrow. It is time that I also officially sub to you, Alex Octone. Oh man, dude, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And also congratulations. Do you mind if I ask like what you're doing? If that's cool. Uh, RE65 was a decent, was decent with the tab there. Yeah, dude, the RE65 was fantastic. That was a great board. Let's do this guy. Uh, we are all subs to Alex, even if you aren't subbed. Oh my god, dude. Dude, Avo's always on a mission to just make me blush. It's crazy. Software engineer? Congratulations, dude. That's a fantastic thing to get into, for sure. Very happy, very proud. <laughs> oh, question for you guys. What was that keycap set you guys linked me a while back? It was uh, based off the, like, the Leica kind of branding. Do you guys remember what that was? Someone linked it to me. Chicken Parm, thank you so much for the tier one. For one 12 year months. Jam. A year with me, buddy. Oh my God, Chicken, thank you so much. Was it Shasha? I don't remember what it was called. 
No, there was a Leica. It wasn't a GMK set. It was a different profile. No, it wasn't. I don't think it was GMK. I'm pretty positive it was like a different profile altogether. I don't honestly. Was it Focus? Momoka? I don't know if it was Momoka Focus. Was it Focus? Let me look this up. I don't know. I was thinking about this the other day, and then I was trying to find it. Momoka Focus. Keycaps. Was it this? No, I don't think it's this. No, not this one. Was it Silk? I don't, honestly, guys, I don't remember. Was it this one here? Oh, maybe this was it here. Yeah, this is the one, the Silk I, Desau. I'm more, not even the Leica style, but like, I'm kind of interested in the, the profile. I just, I'm, I'm very hesitant because I don't know if there's ever been a uh, example copy of this sent out to anyone. So I'm not too sure how I feel about it. Also, does this go, this goes this way. Yes, it does go this way. What set are you rocking on your keyb? I love the colors. This is GMK Kaiju. So Snake Wrap, is this in stock or is this still a group buy? Oh, you can't even buy this. Group I completed. Oh, damn it. Maybe I can bother someone to let me have an extra or something. Or maybe I can just wait for extras. I'm very curious how this will turn out. Very curious. They didn't ship out, did they? Like, I'm not totally outside of the, uh, the area of luck for purchasing this, right? Oh, just complete it recently? Okay, so we got some time. Maybe when extras come out, I'll pick up an extra, but I am kind of interested in the profile. Remind me, did Alex swap the spacebar switch on his Envoy? Uh, that was a totally different board, but this one, that was probably the um, the Sonnet. But the Envoy is all the same. Z Frontier has live stock, like in stock units of it? Wait, this is not coming out till 2024? Damn. Okay, I got, I got time. I got time, dude. Q4 2023, okay. No, sorry guys, I thought someone, I thought, yes, shipping Q4 2024. That's what I read. And that's like, that's a while off still, I don't know. But wait, is it Q4, Q1, okay, 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 okay. That's okay, Snick, you don't have to worry about it, man. Spherical profiles have, have to be pretty low to not feel weird. That's why I'm kind of interested in it. Like, I don't know, I was thinking about it the other day. I'm like, man, I really like the MTNU stuff. And I'm like, wasn't there that other one someone linked one time in chat? All right. I am very curious to see how this is gonna sound. This looks clean. I like the way this looks. This is kind of nice. Dude. This is kind of nice. All right. I, I can vibe with this. Let's do some keycaps now. I don't know what we're gonna put on it. Such chonk, I love it. Yeah, the, the border of the, the keyboard's actually quite nice. It has an interesting side profile, interesting design elements. Hats off the wind for not just doing the same old board they've been doing. That's cool. Um, now for keycaps. Could use. Can we use deep well? We I I don't I, I was thinking Polybius 2 oak, but I just used it. That ass makes me believe it. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, that's that play. Make this one classy. Deep well, right? We're doing deep well. No one wants deep well, I think. Ain't nobody want deep well. Future funk? Send it with deep well. I mean, like, I'm thinking Redline as well, but Redline's on my Kohaku. I don't know if I want to take it off. Deepwell doesn't have F13. I'm 
feeling classic, black on white today. Well, let me see how this will look. Maybe I won't do some of the red accents on deep well. Oh, this is terrible to look at this one. Yeah, I think this will look nice. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys, and then we'll go from we'll go from here. No beige. Hammer brother, how you doing, man? Feels like it's been a while. Sound test time? Almost. We're almost there. I think we're gonna go with this. I trust you. Thank you, Ancient. I appreciate you, dude. Also, thank you guys for all the subs and stuff today. I appreciate you guys to the moon and back. Thank you guys. stands for. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't remember. Got Botanical Desert in this past week. Ooh, Botanical? I need to, I need to order extras of that when it comes in. I love Botanical. I just, for some reason, keep forgetting to buy on the group buys. Botanical, kind of nice though. It is indeed kind of nice. So nice. Caillou, thank you so much. I appreciate the Prime for three months, dude. Thank you, thank you. That means a lot, bro. Alt graph? What is that for? Like, what would you use alt graph for? O old compose key. Oh, interesting. Kilo with the hydrate? Got you, dude. I know you said you, you uh, like TX Long Springs. Which weight should I try out first? I mean, okay, so this is very personal, but like, do you do you think you'd prefer a little bit heavier? The best way you can try things is probably a 62 to 67 gram spring. Those are probably the safest, safest weights. Um, if you really want to try something a little bit like what I like, it's like a 55 gram. It is kind of light though. So I, I am going to warn you that it is very light. But I think, uh, I think, I'm not sure what everyone in chat would say, but I think that's like the sweet spot when it comes to all that stuff. Today I learned Alt-GR. Yeah, I learned today too. That's crazy. Thanks for teaching me that, guys. So we're going to do no foam. If we do need some foam, just because the weight on this is not gigantic. I'm thinking just a little bit of foam underneath the PCB might help with that, but I don't think we might not even need it. it. Might be good just the way it is, so we'll see. Melek, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Uh, gifted Melek to, gifted uh, a tier one sub to Muigo Rick. Muigo, interesting, M interesting name. But thank you so much, I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for always having such a positive environment. Hey, I appreciate you guys all being here and just being positive with me. Being realistic and positive. I think that's a, a better way to look at things too. So nice. Thermoist. Thank you so much for seven months. Appreciate you, dude. Sin 65? I have not seen that one there, no. There's been a lot of boards being pumped out lately. It's been hard to keep up with things. Very, very hard. I can already feel a little bit of flex with this, which is nice. Even though this is a non-flex get PCB, which is awesome. So it's kind of soft feeling already, which is a good thing. I like seeing softer PCBs and stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I forgot six. Damn, no one noticed, that's crazy. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, I work in a job where we absorb a large amount of negativity. Ah, oh. so, um, to be able to escape here, have so much overwhelming positive energy from your community and you is amazing. Do you mind if I ask what you do? If that's, if you don't want to, please feel free to say, Alex, no. But uh, I feel you, dude. When I was working um, at a company, police officer, I, yeah, I can definitely feel you there then. 
when I was working for a, a company too, just like the daily basis for just like, I don't know, just, everyone's miserable in some cases too. They just like let that misery seep into everyone else, other facets of their life. And it's just like, some days you just have enough of it. So I get you, but a police officer is a totally different story. That's uh, different types of negativity. Some you just have to bear and grunt with it too. I, I couldn't imagine. Could not imagine. Oh shit, aren't we missing keycaps for this? I totally think I'm missing the F keys. I have to go find them. Hold on, let me go. Oh gosh, dude. I totally forgot we're missing things for this. At least I think I am. They're in another box somewhere. I just need to go find them. One moment, guys. I think I know where they are. Uh, this does look good on this board. I know, I was so happy with it too. Give me one moment. I think it's over. Okay, the music is fantastic, damn. Everyone peep the orange short return. Okay, dude. Okay, I don't think I have the F keys with me. I think they might be in the box and I don't remember where the box is. So, what I'm probably gonna do, finding Nemo chapter two. Dude, I'm like, my organization today I thought was good, not that good. I don't exactly remember where I put the deep well box. It's somewhere in here. Hold on, let me check one more spot. figure out something to do with this. I might be missing a few keycaps though. What set is this? F keys are right there, joke. I'm imagining, dude. This is uh, GMK Deepwell. But silly me didn't put everything together. You know, they might even be in two different bins. So you might have to bear with me while I go look for that. I misplaced the whole thing actually. Wait, no, there is some other keys in here. No, there's not. Uh, didn't you use that last time on the F1722? I did, and then I put them in a bag. And then, oh, you're right, I did do that. I put them in a baggie and I don't remember where I put them. Because I ran into storage bin.
Aha! You guys reminded me the right way. It's in the rest of, it was with the rest of the keycaps, I just didn't see it. Is the O still being in the box triggers me? I found them. I had taken them off and never put them back in the right box. Silly, silly me. Guys, I don't know about you guys, but things are, even though things are a little bit tough today, they're all coming together. Everything is slowly, slowly coming together. Just got back in time for the final assembly. Agreed. Final assembly happening soon. I'm glad you're back. Let's see. Seven. We all can come home, or we all come together? Hell yeah, dude. Love hearing that. Thank you, Soran, for being proud of me, dude. Soran, nicest guy. One of the, one of the nicest. Until he's not. Then Soran's one of the meanest. <laughs> Let's do... For the side here. Jim K, uh, I'm gonna put Jim K Lavender on it. For which Hold on, something dropped. What dropped? Oh, this. A piece of plastic. I got it, guys. Let me stretch. It's like a plastic little stand I have for something. Soranus Frick. I love GMK Lavender. Kaiju looks so good on the board. I almost want to get uh, to get it. Kaiju is nice. Legitimately one of the nicer sets. Okay, here's the page down, but where's the page up that I need? Um, am I not seeing it somewhere? Do you guys see the page up? Oh, right there. God damn it. Alex, get down. Yeah, it's a plastic stand. I had just knocked it off over a little bit when I was looking for the set. Put right there. I'm an accent kind of guy. You guys want the red accent on this? Red accent or no? Okay. Hey, you know what? This is the first time you guys have like collectively wanted an accent color, so we'll do an accent color. Do I have a keycap blur on my desk? Right there. Wait, should we just do the one accent color or should we do both? Collectively lull? It's like two people, not escape. One accent? Okay, we can do one accent. Sure. Okay, okay. All right, there we go. Let's see, Ooh, what did I just do? Let's see if the PCB turns on. Didn't even bother to check. Did I put in? Oh, interesting. That's kind of cool. Wait, how is it doing that? Oh, I see. That does RGB, but it only pops in from around the side and not from the top. There is a little bit of light leak happening, ever so slightly. Not too noticeable, but it's a little bit there. What? It's either both or none? Dude, did Saran just lock it down with you guys? Put the escape back on? Damn, Soren actually locked it. This is what I mean. Soren's nice until he's not, bro. That's crazy. Soren locked it down. That's wild, dude. The power that Soren has, that's crazy to me. <laughs> Chat smoking that pack with one accent. 
He's gone mad. Incorrect. Gross. I love that little thing. This thing over here is kind of cute. Power move. Damn. Scary. This is nice. Okay. What are your guys' final thoughts about the board? This board looks fucking sick. I mean, I think it has a beautiful side like profile. That looks kind of cool. It's a piece of fluff here. That side profile looks pretty dope. I hate how this desk pad moves around all the time. I like it. I like the back piece. Oh, I do want to peel this off. Hold on. We're going to peel this off right now. We have a little tab here, but it's like not perfectly on. Peeling time. Okay, okay, that's off. I'll leave those two in the bottom on. Did the wink? Always the wink. <clears throat> Hold on, let me take this piece off too. And I just got fingerprints all over it, GG. Let's plug it back in. Worth? <laughs> Dude. All right, aluminum plate, haze switches, no foam. Let's see what this sounds like. Love your content, Argy, sir, Ray Liotos. Keep up the Thank good you, work. man, for the three months, dude. Always appreciate you being here, bro. Always. Check general chat. Is something going on? Do I need to be aware? General chat. For safekeeping. Damn, dude. All right. Let's see what this board sounds like. Let us see. We'll give you guys a little HJ test first. Again, no foam. Okay, so quick little note. I'm gonna cut this one here a little short because I want to add something. I like it. Sounds good. I don't. I don't. I think it's um, overly hollow or anything like that. I will say though. Again, I'm already feeling that gasket point, that mounting point. That's like what over here or over here, wherever it is. Feeling that. It's tough. It, it adds. It's not a bad sound. It would be a better sound if it wasn't there. But it does add a layer of like fatigue to your thumb. That's why I usually opt to not have those points there. Probably my only gripe with this board it does have a slight bit of light leak. It might be kind of hard to see, so I'll have to photograph that for you guys. This sound profile with no foam and the weight being as tiny as it is, is surprisingly still really nice. I think if we added foam, it would just sound like foam. It would sound very, probably deep, but um, probably foamy at the same time. The space bar sound though, even with that tab is not bad. Um, I do wish we had the option to not use that tab. Maybe I shouldn't, I mean, the thing is not putting the gaskets on that. It could just end up sounding like pingy, but um, Soulless, yeah, it could sound soulless with foam. You are right, Soren. But uh, I think this is nice. It's a comfortable front height. I would prefer it still to be a bit lower. I feel like I'm being spoiled by the Orbit. The Orbit's front height was fantastic. Um, but everything else sounds pretty good with this. Like, I think they made the right decision, dude. They really made the right decision to not go with flex cuts. I know Wynn usually goes with them. 
I know that some people might be like, well, you're just, you just hate flex cuts. I just think there's a lot of now customizability that you can make with this board. My only thing that I would change is just, I would just eliminate that tab right over here completely. Eliminate it completely, dude. Other than that, I think this is actually pretty nice. I think this, this is definitely a looker as well. It looks really pretty. Uh, I wish they would give you a thinner gasket for the space bar. Maybe that could also do something too. Definitely a looker though. Like this is pretty. Look at that. Nice little reflection there. Appreciate it. What's up, Matt Mod Music? How you doing, Matthew? Uh, Alex, can I hear my PCB two before? Yeah, Bri, I have to install it for you still. Um, do you want me to do that for you? Because I still have time. We can we can install that second PCB for you. Actually, I think I do need to solder in one switch. I think I forgot one switch to solder in. <clears throat> I was just gonna record it for you later, but if you were down to do it right now, then I got you, my friend. I got you. We can do that right now. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Only if you're totally done with the wind. I am done with it. I don't think there's anything else I need to do with it, but uh, I am down. Yeah, it was this one switch over here I want to redo. I desoldered this one switch because I didn't like it. Your, these switches have been a little bit odd to solder in, but we got it all. So we're actually gonna just quickly assemble Bry's second PCB. If you guys are down for another like 20 minutes on stream. Yeah, dude, Bry, these legs are so delicate on this dude. So delicate. That's about to snap right off. Uh, I just got here, uh, long, stream longer. Hell yeah, it's gonna be a bit longer. Always? Uh, when's the Tet build? I think it's Tuesday. I think that's when we're doing it. Little Tuesday stream for that guy. I think that should be fun. Everything else is perfect. Don't let Alex gaslight you. Wait, what am I gaslighting in anyone to? Oh, the legs being weak? I'm sorry, the legs aren't weak. Are those Frankie switches? Yes. Brian might have to let you guys know what they are again, because I don't remember. Brian, I think these, these Brian told me these were like a combination that one point, this is how you got long pull switches. Uh, like the original like long pull switch stuff. Uh, I'm gonna head off now, it's really late for me. Thanks for the amazing first stream experience. Hey, Rings, thanks for, for being here. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for bearing with some of the scuff today on stream today, guys. <sighs> Always appreciate it. Always do. Perfect. Uh, not, not that original. They're just uh, Boba LTs with cherry bottoms. I'm surprised the, the legs are as delicate as they are, Bri. Like, very surprised. Where's that beautiful desk mat from? It is from Grove Made. Uh, someone gave this to me. I've, I'm very appreciative of it. My only criticism of this desk pad is it slides around a lot. I'm really confused why Grove Made didn't put like rubber feet or just some sort of rubber layer underneath this, like anti-slip layer. This is too much sometimes. Like it, it just, it just moves. It's kind of annoying. But it is a very pretty guess. All right, here we go. I wouldn't like it sliding around like that. Yeah, sometimes it's a bit irritating. Time for some drawer liner. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. I didn't even think about that. Oh yeah, I could do that. That would make a lot of sense. That would make a butt ton of sense. All right, let's unscrew this guy. So this is Bry's CW60. It kind of does. I think the only thing I like it for is just 
it just feels nicer to type on. Like it feels like solid to type on, I guess. That's really about it. Does the dust bed sliding, um, wait, sorry. From my knowledge, what kind of sound difference do the gasket sleeves make? I don't remember which one's which, Bri. I don't know if the clear ones were lighter or the red ones were lighter, but I typically don't find too much difference in sound profile for gaskets like this. It's when you have an O-ring gasket that I find some of the difference in sound. That's the only time I really find the difference. So this should be fairly straightforward. We're just gonna be swapping this in and out. And then I'll move your keycaps. Although there is the small little issue of this guy, this annoying little thing here. Right, this uh, JST is gonna be a painful experience to swap this back and forth, by the way. So I don't know how you're gonna deal with that. Um, but dude, this is a, a wake up call to a lot of designers. Short PCBs, ain't nobody like them. They are kind of annoying. I think the way we did this last time was what? We did it like this. Uh, see you struggling with this? Yes, sir, always. We got this one here in. Uh, oh, Lord, gotta run? Dude, take care, Chris. Gotta, heading to the fams for a Sunday dinner. Ooh. Enjoy your Sunday dinner, my friend. That sounds lovely. What am I doing wrong here? But take care, take care and enjoy. You know what, Brian? I have a feeling I'm gonna like this build more than I like the other build. Probably. Right, why is this screw being weird? Oh, it's not actually closed properly. There we go. That would help. Uh, hi, Alex. I'm looking to build a TKL for a friend. Do you think the Tiger 80 Lite's a great choice as a gift? Oh, hell yeah. Dude, I don't know about you guys in chat. If I wasn't into keyboards and someone got me a Tiger 80 Lite and like did it all up, that would be an ex insane first experience into keyboards. That would be so nice. And like you can like mix up the colors and stuff like that. Oh yeah, dude. I think that's fantastic, Box Milk. Have we tried the QK100? No, I have not tried the QK100. Um, but yeah, I think that'd be great, dude. I'd be curious to know what you're think uh, what you're thinking when you uh, know a build would be better to to learn. So, I kind of just know like the characteristics of sound profiles because I've already typed on a CW60. I know that this combo, like with with what we had on here, was a bit louder because I believe this is like what a, the courses are like a light tactile or something like that. A bit louder, a bit more in your face. And the way that Bry did these switches is gonna be a bit better uh, in terms of like, what's up my alley, sound-wise. Although, Bry, do you want me to just take these ones here off this one or should I just use my own set? Totally up to you. I don't know if you plan on using this as your main build and just want this done here or you pick. Whatever's easier, we'll do this way because your keycap set's right next to me. Uh, I have a project at the moment where I'm sticker bombing my Tiger 80 Lite. Oh, that sounds fucking awesome. Sticker bombing keyboards can be really cool. Plateless 
boards or at least half plates can usually sound pretty like, dude, you can already tell this is going to be great. Yeah. Can already tell I like it a bit more than the other one. Just a bit, just a little smidge. QK60 has an R2. If they were R2, I think the QK60 was a pretty fun build. I don't know though. Could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. What do I know about keyboards? I love half plates. For some boards, there's a fine line between Omega Clack, half plate, and thin. Yeah, half plates can also sound like obscenely deep too, where they kind of don't get that profile that you want sometimes. So you got to know the balances between things. But because I know this board, I think this is going to be a great little choice of everything here. Alex, you're going to pick up GMK Cubed. You already know. The, the sets that I'm looking forward to receiving are GMK Cubed and Micklin. Have you ever had a keycap uh, puller dig into the keycap? Uh, I can't say that I have. That would be a, a very tight pull if you did. The new colors of the bottom case are amazing. This guy? Wait, which one are we talking about? Which keyboard? One hundred percent. Super fun to mess around with half plates. The world of keyboards is just a great playground for learning new things too. You can really find what you really like and don't like in keyboards by just playing around. It, mind you, it's an expensive playground. But yeah, but the win turned out pretty good. I don't know how you guys felt about this, but I'm actually pretty happy with that. Oh yeah, there is other things than wire pullers, huh? There are people who use like those plastic like hook pullers too. Uh, question, I just built my CW87 and can't tighten the screws in the bottom house and there's any way to fix it? Um, I don't really know. But if, there, if you have to do something to, to fix the screws not tightening, then probably a gasket of some sort. I, I will admit, I love Cruel World stuff, but there is something that the iron also suffers from, and I would think I would be a hypocrite to not point it out. I did point out the, I mean, this is not a review, but like, it's Bry's build. But I did notice the weight was rattling around. I think the only way to really fix that would be having to go in and like, figuring out some sort of gasket or just some small film to kind of close the gap of where it's wiggling around there. Not the end of the world, but just something that I think should be thought of when you're selling more premium boards. Uh, I didn't tell you, but I recently picked up an iPad Pro again. It's weird. I didn't think I missed the Apple ecosystem. Dude, now that I have an Apple workstation to an extent, dude, Apple work workstation, no, just Apple ecosystem, too good, man. Every hobby is an exercise in budgeting. I very much agree with that. Very much agree. It is indeed a challenge to budget some stuff sometimes, but also a healthy challenge. Jim Key cubed on your purple Bauer light. Deal. We'll do that. Done deal. I'm sold on this Lilac QK60. I think there's a lot of good boards in stock right now. I think the transition TKL is in stock. That's a good board. Uh, dude, the Orbit. I don't know if you guys are picking up the Orbit. Orbit's sick right now. I think the Orbit's going to be one of those boards people sleep on. And uh, they're going to regret sleeping on it. Mind you, these are a bit more expensive. Trans uh, transition's about to be sold out. Yeah, the transition was nice. I'm going to full send on the Orbit. I think it's going to be a grail. I think it's going to be a lot of people's grails. I just think a lot of people are going to sleep on it. I truly do. Love the look and feel of the QK60, but I'll probably miss all the extra keys. Yeah, that's totally fair to say that. 100% excited on the Orbit. Yeah, that's going to be the one board I feel that like, like I said, I know I'm repeating myself. It gets slept on, people regret it, and then people are going to buy it at a premium later. So, plus the designer of the Orbit Rabbit is... Definitely a sweetheart. Love rabbit. 
awesome dude. I do clap bait. I'm simple. I'm telling you, silver is the way, bro. Silver is the way. No, I dropped a key cap, dude. What is with me these days? PSA for Apple users, make sure your subscriptions uh, on PC don't oh, Apple tax you. Yeah, I did that the other day by accident. I bought something on Apple. Uh, it was a Discord Nitro gift premium thing for my girlfriend. And then I realized I should have done it on my computer and not my phone. Whoops. Yeah, silver on any board lately has been my top choice. I'm not gonna lie, man. Silver, and if I can find like a stone or cream color, that's my second choice, but silver's been my number one. Silver's been go-to color choice. I like this way more, Bri. Is there a black tilt or a light one you to match the corners? I believe there is. Just for the sake of symmetry? I think there should be, right? Actually, that's a good question. Yeah, yeah, there is. What do you usually uh, combine with silver boards? Anything. That's the beauty about silver. Anything works with silver. It's awesome, dude. I'm telling you, dude, if you guys are ever stuck, like hard stuck on a choice for colors or keyboards, silver is the safest and ultimately the classiest choice you can go. Silver is truly timeless. Oops, knocked my camera a little bit, I think. It's okay. All right, Bri. I like, I can already tell I like this more. Here we go, Bri, you ready for this? I already like that. Oh, my camera's still shaking. That's way nicer, dude. That sounds so good. This is right up my alley for sound signatures. Bri, this is the, I like this config more, I like the other one, but obviously do what you need to do with what you like better, but. Spacebar is super clean. But yeah. Brian, I'll, uh, I'll pack this up now. We'll wrap this up. But dude, this board. Wind's actually very pretty. Very, very impressed with this. I'm happy that they took a direction that wasn't the same stuff they've been doing just on repeat. Very, 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 very happy with Wind Studios on this guy. Very happy. Definitely a very specific aesthetic that I think some people may or may not appreciate, but super happy on that. Uh, is that a Tofu 62.0? I just got mine delivered. Uh, this guy? This is a Cruel World build. Very pretty bottom. Uh, Orbit has three vendors. I think there's an international vendor and that's it. I, I'm, I'm pretty positive there's not a whole lot of choices for buying the Orbit, but all the choices are good choices. So there's thankfully that. Plug in my keyboard. Oh yeah, I did. All right though, guys, that's pretty much it. Bri, I hope you ended up loving it, dude. Um, also, Win Z75, super happy that they decided to go with a non-X version with the same aesthetic on every single board. Super happy about Win Studios for that. This turned out sick. I, um, I can appreciate big bezel keyboards. Always appreciate that, dude. Um, but yeah, until tomorrow, I think tomorrow we're doing another stream. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but we're doing something. Let me tell you guys exactly what we're doing tomorrow. Tomorrow we are doing, oh, we're doing the Tet tomorrow. Never mind. I thought it was Tuesday. We're doing the Tet tomorrow. And then on Tuesday we're doing Skull Kings builds. 
So, until then, actually, I need to get some switches prepped for tomorrow. Then, damn. Until actually, then, I need though, to get some switches prepped for tomorrow. Jesus, dude, I need to shut up. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Let's go raid. Who's building Schwartz here? Let's go raid at. Where's Jay? I thought I just saw him on. Let's go raid Jay. I love watching Jay. All right, guys. See you guys very soon. Take care. And, uh. <laughs> yeah, beauty. I always say that, man. Take care, everybody. Love you. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Uh, thanks for being here, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Enjoy Jay's stream. Peace out, everybody. Love you.